Hey, it's me. I've been thinking about something lately and wanted to share it with you. You know, sometimes we get that feeling of sadness or longing that we can't quite explain, like a sort of world weariness. Well, I've been pondering where that comes from, and I think it might be helpful to talk it through. There's a few reasons why we might feel this way. Sure, part of it could be like a deep down yearning for something bigger than ourselves, a connection to something spiritual, or a sense of belonging to our true home. I think there's more to it than that as well. Like sometimes when we're not in tune with what's right for us, when we're not following our own sense of what's good and true, we start to feel off. It's like our inner self is sending us signals that something isn't quite right. So for example, like if we're holding back from truly loving others because we're afraid, or maybe we're worried about getting hurt, we're going to end up feeling isolated and sad. We might think we're open to love, but fears and insecurities can distort how we actually express it. Maybe we're waiting for someone else to make the first move. Or maybe we're scared of being vulnerable. That fear can block the natural flow of love, leaving us feeling unfulfilled. So I think it's important to realize that genuine love isn't about protecting ourselves or making sure our ego stays intact. It's about being willing to give without guarantees and not letting pride get in the way. When we focus too much on ourselves, on our fears, our pride, we can't fully open up to others. And that can lead to that vague sense of longing or melancholy. Now, we've all been there. It's something that I've experienced. It's just that sometimes without realizing it, we might be holding back our true feelings. And that holding back can create a kind of inner conflict that leaves us feeling weary or dissatisfied with life. So I think the key is to take a good, honest look at ourselves. This self-understanding or self-inquiry that we've been talking about. To ask if we're letting fear or pride prevent us from connecting deeply with others. Yeah, it's not always easy. But by understanding what's going on inside us, we can start to heal those parts that are hurting. When we truly love without conditions or fears, we don't lose our dignity. In fact, we gain strength and clarity. We become more genuine and our relationships become more fulfilling. Love isn't something that runs out or needs to be rationed. The more we give, the more it grows. Sometimes we might withdraw from others because It seems easier or feels safer, but that can lead to loneliness and a a deeper sense of this world weariness too. We all have a natural desire to give, to be part of something bigger than ourselves. Ignoring that, ignoring that part of ourselves, I think is what leaves us feeling empty. It's okay to acknowledge that we're afraid or that we've been hurt before. But staying in that place is not going to help us move forward. We have to make a conscious choice to either stay closed off or take a risk and open up. Even if it's scary, choosing to embrace love and connection can bring so much more fulfillment. You know, when we've been torn between these two opposing forces, we feel torn between you know, wanting to connect and at the same time wanting to protect ourselves. It can create like a lot of inner turmoil. That conflict can even affect our physical health, making us feel tired, unwell, create sickness. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's worth taking the time to reflect on these feelings. It's important to understand where they're coming from and to decide how we want to move forward. It's about making a choice and then being okay with the consequences of that choice. If we decide to stay closed off, we need to accept that loneliness might be a part of that path. If we choose to open up, 
we may find the connection and happiness we've been longing for. It's not about forcing ourselves to feel something we don't or pretending everything's fine when it's not. It's about being honest with ourselves and working through whatever fears or barriers are holding us back. I know it's a lot to think about, but I wanted to share it because I believe that understanding ourselves better can lead to a more fulfilling life. And I care about you and want you to find that happiness too. Let me know what you think. I'm here for you. I love you. Let's connect soon.